Oh, shit. Yo. Hey, Do ladies. You know what and time it is? Animals. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Oh. Wait, is our background weird? No. No, your background no, is weird. Spooky. Um, <laughs> spooked. I don't know what the sound spooked. effect is. Oh, I, I Folks. Oh, I see. Um, welcome back to the Producer Lounge. Welcome, welcome. Your weekly musical broadcast. Broadcast, yo. And by musical, I mean we might break into song at any moment during this broadcast. We might. Yes. It's a guitar right over there. Um, <laughs> so stay stay tuned. Um, no, for real, folks, welcome back. Episode 129. We're. It brings me great pleasure to introduce Shady Jones and a cowboy. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's Shady Jones. Wow. Shady Jones, welcome back. Uh, the the third member. Shady and, Jones. And cowboy, welcome back. No, nah, but you. Thank you. Uh, for real, it's I mean, Warren <laughs> and Von Klaus. Yes. Oh, shit. It was just a joke. Folks in chat, let us know <laughs> if you can hear us. We were having a little bit of audio issues. AJ um, Skater, can you hear us? Early on. Uh, but yeah, let us know. Shout out AJ SK Ader for oh, loud and clear, mm-hmm. loud and clear. Good to hear. That is um, good. <coughs> folks, this oh, is no. your uh, weekly music production broadcast, mm-hmm. and we're gonna talk uh, tunes and production things and stuff like that. Um, and as you can see, it's clearly <coughs> Halloween. Mm. So I will get fully into character, mm. and we will continue upon the broadcast. <laughs> Folks, how are we this evening? Oh, here lovely, oh, lovely. Dude, it's been a fine dandy day, I do say. Oh, <laughs> very good. It's very good. Oh, it's been sick, dude. That is good to hear. I've been raising many a dead myself. Mm. Yeah. Business wow. has been good. Yes. You got the jacket and ring wow. to prove Where it. Where are you getting these? I've been balls. raising plenty of hay. And um, well, it's lots of corn, too. <laughs> it's surprising what you can find in the back alleys of 1800s New York. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> well, dude, plug 1980. Wait, 1890. I'm an 90s. honest man. Not, yeah, 1890s New York, dude. Dude, the 1890s were hip. Okay. Well, people were dropping their dead just right out the window yeah. back then. Gang, gang. Mm-hmm. They were. <laughs> um, what is the smell? Is for, there a smell? Uh, for just a- many dead bodies in the alley. Correct. <laughs> it was a normal smell for the time. Uh, AJ Skater, for my name is spelled with a C. But I appreciate your candor. <laughs> Moving Kalib. on. Um, folks, how do we feel about Sinplant so far now that we've been using it for several weeks? Has anyone gained more wisdom or insight upon the plugin? I feel like it's mm. got this thing where it's almost <laughs> got like a tone itself to it. Like every sound it kind of makes, it does this thing with the high end where mm. you can almost tell. Like it's a sin plant sound. Have you guys noticed that? Right. Um. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. it's got a little sure. like flavor to it. I had brought that up last week or the week before. Oh, did you? <laughs> that wow. uh, you know how you can t- tell the sound of a granulator or tell the sound of uh, I forget the other example I was using at the time, but uh, needless to say, you can tell. When something has been granulated, mm. it has a distinct or like oh, thrown through spectrum. corpus. Spectrum, that's the other. Yes, <laughs> corpus is another good example. <laughs> mm. uh, but spectrum, spectrum, spectrum sounds. Oh, spectral. Yeah, spectral. Thank you. Uh, it's very clear that they are. I'm, right. I'm nearly closing in on Graham Hancock now. Um, <laughs> it's very clear. Go Beckley Teppy type beat. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Graham Hancock, dude. <laughs> Uh, go watch Ancient Apocalypse on Netflix, available now. Um, <laughs> we're, we're not sponsored by that. No. We'll represent uh, them. But no, uh, to break character real quick, yeah, s- spectrum sounds all <laughs> sound very spectrum-y. Like, once you kind of get spectral. a flavor... Spectral. Yeah. Once you get the flavor of it, you can kind of, like, h- hear it. Mm-hmm. And then same with granulated sounds. And I feel the same with Simplant as well. It's gonna, 100%. It's right? going to produce a timbre or a flavor profile that is pretty, it's 
fairly obvious, but I think since it's so new, there is ways to dig deep. Like I was kind of giving mm. it some a uh, bunch of weird vocals to try and see like how mm. it could kind of fuck with some vocals, kind of s- s- stress testing it, if you will. Interesting. Um, and it it kind of broke a couple new thresholds I didn't think it could get to, mm. like some some ooze and uh, uh, like almost an L timbre. And did it like actually old, sound like the vocal, or did it just? It, sound like it was weird? pretty close. There was, you know, out of Damn. the thirty or so that it gives you in its genome or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Um, it got you know one or two. That was pretty close. There you go. But to be fair, what yeah. I'm looking for is that first bit <laughs> it gives on the bottom of the tree. You know, when you're like, hey, Simplant, here's a sound. And then the you hit first the, one is the And then you hit play. The first Seems ones the are so weird. Because right. it's just like, okay, random. And it just like throws a random bit out. And it's like only 20% close. Mm-hmm. And then it starts honing in a lot closer after that on your way up the tree. But that first one is usually the fucking sauce. Because yeah, it's usually it, weird. You can hear it trying too hard towards the end. Correct. Or it's just like, uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Right. Maybe, and maybe it'll, not now anymore. It'll start getting really, like, <laughs> delayed and like, uh, like has some weird effect. Like, later on, I feel like the effects start getting in the A way. little, yeah. I've yeah. noticed with the vocals, bit. I've gotten unlucky with it. Just probably choosing the wrong vocals to pop in there. But mm. a lot of high, like, high-end resonance kind of mm-hmm. weird, sure. weird and, shit that just kind of like, Pops out really. Abrasively. It will do weird high end yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, very aggressive. That's I'll the, get that. That's the one that's too. hard to Ugh. hard to break away from. But I got lucky with it popping bases in there. It sure, sick as sure. fuck, dude. I got super um, lucky with that. With the, the with the vocal things and the high end stuff, I feel like it does kind of get squirrely towards the top end of the trees. Um, right. kind of like the first the first one's always a little weird, and then the <clears> second <throat> the second and the third after that are usually a little tamer. Mm-hmm. Um, when it comes to high end, but it's it, it's kind of dependent on what you're trying to do. Like, are you trying to get a, repli- a replica of what you put in, or are you trying to get just something inspired off of that? Right. Yeah. It's most kinda, of the time, I'm just kind of like popping something in there to see like what else same. is gonna kind of come yeah. off of this that interests mm-hmm. me. You know, yeah. I'm not ever really looking for something specific because I know that it's like it's it's still pretty pretty early in development right. and everything like that. I'm sure. Probably like six months from now, once it gets used enough, that, that, a, a that AI is going to be fucking way, way, way better than it is mm-hmm. right that now. That would be sick if it's they updated. So, with, like, you know, I'm just, yeah. you, we're, we're just testing it right now, kind of getting sure. how it works. And, yeah. like, already a lot of it is working phenomenally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I love the fact that you can, like, use it like a synth. <laughs> you know, you mm. have an ADSR and everything like that. You're not just stuck with the sample as is. You can actually change things up if you need to. Mm-hmm. Which helps a lot. It, it helps almost feels, a lot. It almost feels like... Uh, like you have to crate dig for all the good sounds. You do. You yeah, which do. is good. That's which is good. Hey, you that's can't just literally fun. put anything in yeah. there, and it's a button right. that makes your song sound cool. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta definitely dig around, and like, I've already had to learn how it takes samples and like what works and like what doesn't in it. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. like loops. No, no, oh, yeah, loops really loops loops are not really it just way. merges it into one big weird <laughs> yeah, sound. Like, like, oh, you want right. delay uh, <laughs> all the way up, basically yeah. like a hundred percent wet, and you're like no. Oh, I saw really. um, excellent uh, audio. The, those two guys are excellent Shout sound. Shout out the boys. Um, they were they were doing the they were like gambling on the sounds basically. <laughs> so they would put a sound in and they'd be like, "Oh, which one's gonna be the best one?" Like, I got money on like C, and the <laughs> other dude's like, "Oh, I got money on A." Oh, okay, cool. That's be, fun. Yeah, that's a good time. That's pretty good, right? Um, like, oh, which one is the better sounds? Yeah, I was gonna say turning, throwing vocals in often yields pretty good pads. Oh, interesting. I can see um, that. you know, you'll you'll have to then like, like. I'll print <clears throat> the thing and then I'll turn it into a pad from there because I want to like loop it and Are put a bunch of effects on it. But it does; ha- it has the timbre and the tonality of a vocal, so you get all of that without having any of the inconsistencies that come with a vocal. Are you using right. more like oohs and ahs <clears throat> at that point, or like more like uh, phrases? No, and it's like talking. shouts, shouts, and okay. some raps and stuff like that. I try not to grab anything singy. Yeah, okay. Right. That that's what I, that's the problem. This the yeah, the singing stuff if it holds a tone too long, 
I feel like Simplan gets confused, and it's like, right. why can't I move around? <laughs> um, and that goes with everything. Like, I'll only give it something that's either dynamically tonal or tonally dynamic, where it's moving around, or is like an impact, like a like oh, okay. a one shot. So like a chant basically. would probably be good. Yeah, like a chant or a shout, and then um, yeah, like a choir note doesn't really mm. work very well. Yeah, because there's a lot going on. It's already that. kind of where the sim plant wants to go. It it already kind of wants to just go into this like oh right. kind of like thing. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of going to give you weird, distorted moments of that. Mm-hmm. I think, um, at least through m- m- my experience, where you could kind of give it a choir note, but just kind of shape it so it's, oh, you know, and then put it in. Right. And then right. it's going to give you, I, I think, a little bit more of an interesting take. But that's just my experience. It seems like the shorter the better. In the, in right. The, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You just want one shots in there for right now. I wonder though, uh, like the next version of Simplant, if they like they have a thing where it creates loops, like out of things that you put into That'd it. That'd be nice. Did That'd you oh, see? Oh, that would be crazy. Did you see the new thing on Splice? Oh, the AI part. Mm-hmm, I haven't mm-hmm. fucked with it yet, but it's, I did see that. It's trash. Oh god. <laughs> what what is it? I think um, you were like <laughs> brought it up a little bit, but <clears throat> yeah. yeah, you can like you you go to Spl- here. We'll just let's just go to Splice. Get the Splice. Here we go. Let's just do it. Shout live. out to our sponsor. While we're Splice. pulling that up, uh, did anyone notice AJ Skater's comment? <laughs> Should have been a pirate if your name starts with the C. Okay. Oh, I like that. Banger. Okay. Banger. I noticed. <laughs> yeah. I noticed, but reluctantly didn't say anything. No, I'm just kidding. Um, wow, they really are advertising this. Too. Yeah, Jesus yeah, it's right. It's right as you Jeez. get in here. So let me switch over to Ableton, Dude, folks. You have here for you. Eighteen hundred credits on here. Thank yeah, I had it. like twenty three hundred the other, like dead. just a couple weeks ago. But I started downloading mm-hmm. like whole packs, or I actually started it's going good. into presets, and those are three a pop. They are three a pop. And since I have so many credits, I'm just like, ooh, that one's fun. That one's fun. That one's fun. That one's fun. <laughs> and I just start fucking <clears throat> saving a bunch. of presets i definitely use the presets as like a good starting point because sometimes it'll be like something i don't necessarily know how to synthesize right it's a good way to just have like the or even just to remake a lot of exactly serum presets exactly really nice exactly too. that or just having a jumping off point yeah like because i don't save a lot of presets i i've been better in uh face plant as of late but serum there's some things i want Serum four, like it's a little bit less CPU intensive than face 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 plant. And if I have a bunch of presets that get me at least fifty percent to where I'm trying to go, it's kind of nice to just like grab that blah blah blah, and then I can print it, and then I can work with it in audio, which is where I'm trying to get to anyways. And then we're good to go. Do they have face plant presets on Splice? Since when? No, do they? That's oh, no, no. They don't? No, no oh, they, okay, don't. they don't. Yeah, oh, which okay. is a huge bummer. If they did, I would have much less than 1,800 credits right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Because it is just a new, newer... How long has Faceplant been around? has been around for like six years now. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah. Is it six years? That's so Almost, weird. I, I, I want to say. If not... And then they it can't have, be that yeah. long. I could say like four. Be. Then they have the Astro uh, Maybe six? resets. It's like, who, who even uses that? Right? Well... Four years ago would just be 2019, just pre-COVID, and and it was around before COVID. That's true, for sure. It's true. Damn, that's wild. Right, I know, I know. A high school ago <laughs> was 2019, right before COVID. A high school, ago. A high it's school gross. Ago. High school, ago. it's <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> All right, so here is uh, Splice's new AI Dilly Whopper. Let's do. Are we gonna be able to hear it? Disco Fever? Definitely Industrial Lab. Oh no. yeah. Uh, and then it just picks four stems. Oh, we, we oh, did we, do this. We played with this. Yeah, yeah it was did, horrible. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah, it's not very good. And it just lets you like, kind of. I don't know if you guys can. I mean, I guess the, no, I, the idea either. is there. Mm-hmm. And like, and you can it's mute them. Cool, but or I, you I think can it like, just ended up layering on with the new stack like too much for us. And like, it got to a point that we had like, like fifty tracks or something like that playing at once. And I don't I like. Don't know. I don't like the idea of just sitting sitting here layering stacks. I feel like it teaches the wrong. Hey, you just you're right. just fucking filling your ears with noise at that point. Not sure only that, that but you're know. just like you're not trying. You're just like letting AI just like throw things at it until you're like, "Cool, this is a song." And it's like, "No, that's not a song. It's yeah. barely a loop." Mm-hmm. You might as well yeah. just use a loop like, at that point. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. even like then, a like a cohesive set of like percussion that's together <laughs> yeah, that makes honestly. sense. 
instead of just a bunch of random fucking mm. percussion things right. put into a fucking subpar loop. Yeah, no, that is absolutely true. <laughs> Yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't think it's as good as. I hope, I hope, it could I hope be. people don't really use this that much because it's just gonna fucking. Oh, they will. Hamper yeah. the learning process. <laughs> no, but they can give feedback. Yeah. Which. This place um, is so huge. They... Feedback. Don't oh, do it. Oh wow. Okay. Not good. <laughs> yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't okay. Don't do it. Well, at least they have <laughs> this here. At least they have Bit. Well, Bit yeah. Studio. They, they get a check mark for that for uh, sure. Yes. They have everyone's yeah. favorite Personas studio. One. I know. Why is that before Bitwig? That's fucking <laughs> I never knew it was Personas. 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 Guys. What the fuck is that? Pre? Presonas. Personas. Presonas. Personas. Is that what I said? Personas. But Bitwig all day, obviously. Yeah. I don't know. Other, please specify. Persona. Your mom. Oh. Burn. Fucking. Burn. What is that doll that I saw? It's like. It's weird. It fucking. It's a blank. Oh. Fucking did I thing. see something about this? And then you drag some shit in there. And then it's like. It's very freeform weird. It's not like. Hmm. It doesn't seem like it makes much sense hmm. to use it by. Any stretch? I'm tr- I can't really remember what that. I don't know if I've seen that yet. I that either. sounds interesting, though. Yeah. Honestly, just a new concept for a DAW or a way to make electronic like, like, music. Do you just like on drag and drop plugins in and just kind of like do a bunch of random shit I with it or something like that? I don't even know what it has for plugins or availability huh. of plugins. Because like the only thing that I can think of that's like kind of similar to that, which it's not really a DAW, but it's the like a virtual modular synth that you can kind of like build Ooh, your own rack by like putting a bunch of stuff on or some and shit like that. Mm. Mm. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think I'll of. I'll take number four. I'll take number yeah. four. Okay. No, okay, that's fair. And I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> oh, I guess it is best. Yeah. Come on. Well, Lander's, uh, that's a website, you know. <laughs> yeah. That You're right. Yeah. I've, yeah. Heard, I've heard of it. So, I mean, their, their word is law to me. <laughs> there, there you Lander. go. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Oh, Bishu. This guy. Is, is, is this what you're talking about? Is it? It is. Okay. Really? I haven't seen this. What is this is this? crazy. Um, Five days ago? What is it called? That's what I'm trying to figure out, too. Bishu? No, it's... He doesn't... Does he not put it in the description? Blockhead Development? Blockhead. Is that... Blockhead. That's a I fun think name for it. like that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... Is it made by have... the producer? Blockhead. Right. That would be cool if it was. <laughs> that would be. But I don't think it is. Oh. They probably just yeah, like uh, gave it to Bishu for free too. They're like, "Yeah, promote dog. this for us." That looks like what it is. So it's like, like a modular da. Dodgeler. Dodgeler. It's dodgeler, dude. It's dodgeler. That's kind of the only thing I can think of at that yeah, point. Yeah, that's weird. Well, like, well yeah. This so there's is literally the da nothing we're on looking there. at right now. Wow. What? This is it. Yeah, we so can't you hear just, anything. Because fuck just keep, you. That's why. Okay, so you pull like a tab open and you just drag and drop shit. <laughs> okay, so, so it's just like nice and clean. Yeah, it is well, really it's like I mean, I'm sure there's more than that, but it looks very FLE with, 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 with how things drag in and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. how the cursor looks. I like the, the zero grid. Like what's that is so weird. You can add grid in. Oh, and you you select an area and have a grid in it. What? So this is how you make burial beats. Yeah, I was yeah. just gonna <laughs> say that they have, they basically start you off with the burial kind of idea where they're like, you don't need a grid, just do whatever. You know? Right. Wait, what did he just make? Uh, yeah. Oh, Moombatone. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's what it is. Mm. What well, what was that right there? He right clicked and he did did something. I wish we could is, hear is, it. is he making a MIDI clip? Yet. Oh, it's it's muted on the on YouTube. No, I know, I know. That, it's, that it's, it's muted so that the stream uh, doesn't oh, okay. hear. Copyright. What does it say? Folks in chat, if you can reread that, let us know. I can't. I think it's <laughs> add, my my pixelated screen doesn't add any, something. Add something, but. I'm at a third grade reading level. Please. Automation clip of some <laughs> kind or something, or just a loop. Oh, oh I I have grade? seen this video. Uh, maybe it's a loop. Yeah, and it is. Oh yeah, maybe it's a loop. Add loop. That's so weird. You add a loop to make it loop there. What? 
it's pretty yeah, weird. I'm, I'm sure you can move the loop around and lengthen it. Go ahead, like, 20 minutes, see how big the project gets. Let's go to the biggest. Most replayed. Scrubbing. Scrubbing. So these are all, like, different time signatures right. on the bottom there. Oh, Interesting. What? He adds yeah. his grid as, like, an automation lane. <clears throat> what? <laughs> yeah. This is insane. This is interesting. This yeah. is cool. I kind of want to... I would want to fuck with it. I kind of want to fuck with it, too. It does look, kinda, it does look fun. And if you want to make some real burial type shit... Oh, well, it looks like he's doing some granular kind of bullshit. Right. right it does right? kind of look like that. What is it's, it? like, looping where he drags the cursor. Or the playback. The playback is looping in awkward ways. It looked like a fun right? thing to try and make some goofy sounds with. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Blockhead. No. In, 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 oh, now it's on a grid, yeah. He zooms in, you can actually see it. Right, because o- only right here where he's made the grid. That's Notice so how over here there's no grid still. Right, yeah, it's just it's only it's where he's giving added you the little this. gray section. Is that going to be a producer flex? Is like, oh, yeah, I made my own grids, dude. Did I, did <laughs> I, make, <laughs> I fucking make my own grids, son. I make, Fuck off, bro. <laughs> shit, bro. I make my own grids, I son. I synthesize all that <laughs> shit, bro. Let's go. God damn, bro. Right here on Blockhead making my own shit. <laughs> all you using I, I do like the name, grids. too. I like the name. Blockhead, Blockhead is yeah, a fun yeah, dog. It, fun. it reminds me of Square pusher like that vibe mm. of just like no nah, i just care about sound waves have you heard blockhead the producer yeah oh yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. legend legend yeah. legend in the game the music that's a legend in the game oh, well man. folks uh does anybody have anything else what's going on what's, uh, what's up what's going, going on yeah what's up what's fucking going on eh? yeah no you're a cowboy i've been having a hey, um, no he's yeah. a, yes, a british am. cowboy that exactly. doesn't make any sense but <laughs> Neither does Shady I came, I Secret came from, Trio Shady Jones. I came Jones. from London. I came from London. All, right. all came from London um, and all have my own pasture on the form now. Yeah. Pasture on the form. It makes sense, right? That's the same thing. Mm, have you guys played with the uh, frequency shifter on the high end trick? Yes. That I showed last yes, week? Yes, I yeah? did on the Bitwig. And it does basically the same thing. Oh, What's cool. nice, actually, here I'll show you. What are you guys talking on about? On Bitwig. Um, this cool frequency shifter trick. I'll demonstrate. Oh. You can like create a phaser type thing. Kinda. Oh, that's different. I think you showed us a, a little bit about that. Phaser? Did you? I think maybe you did like a, w- like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I don't did know. You that's when us? I started playing with it. Yeah. So that sounds about right. Probably. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I feel like we weren't drunk because it was a thing that was like we saw right when we got here and then just immediately forgot when. Yeah, we got that's drunk. exactly probably right? what happened. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool trick. <laughs> it's a really cool trick. I. I I made a sound with it on the pod last week, right? Yeah. Is that what happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, I've been playing with that more. I'm I'm happy you were playing with it though, Caleb. He'll pull it up, so I won't uh, I won't explain it yet. But you can get cool little wibbles and wobbles in your sound. I like that you're gonna do this without being able to hear it. I know that is a flex for sure. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, I totally forgot that we can't even hear this right now. <coughs> um, <laughs> can the going. audience hear? It's okay. You can do it. Deaf. Yeah. They, yeah, but it's not can. it's it's not gonna really work. But what I'll show you <laughs> um theor- theor- theoretically what's neat. So here you're looking at the bitwig free frequency shifter. Um and I could turn the mix to fifty like you should. Range? Yeah, that's 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 what's neat. Is is I can make the range super short. Oh so that these percentages I have lots more room to scrub on that very right. small amount, oh. right? Which is which l- lends itself to that effect, yeah. Which is really nice. I I was trying to do it, and then I I was kind of up here, and I was like, oh, okay, here we go. At ten percent, it kind of does the same thing, right? Yeah. But then when I bring the range down, I was like, oh, I have so much more room in here now I'm to so scrub. I'm so jealous of that because right. in Ableton, it's the same way where where, ha- where I have to like just fucking. Eh. Right, you just have to like uh, just barely point or macro zero, zero, one. It. So yeah, or yeah, macro, it. macro it. What kind of what kind of sound way. are you trying to get from this? So it does like a phasing. Yeah, it does a, a phasing okay. type effect. But it's not like a, it's different than a phaser though. It's kind of has its own yeah. Kind yeah. Of quality to it. And it's it's different from a phaser okay. because a phaser is a linear the way it's combing. It just has its set of combs that's going through your frequency range. The cool thing about using a frequency shifter is it's an exponential range compared to a linear range. So the way a frequency shifter works is when you turn it up, 
it's making every individual frequency move by the amount you turn it up. So let's say we you turn it up 100 hertz. Your 100 hertz is going to go from like your bass range to 200. And that's going to be a big jump for like a bass range, right? Mm -hmm. But like your 15K <clears throat> is only going to go up to 15.1K. Oh, right. So right. you get this weird like Because it's only going effect. 100? Exactly. Okay. Uh, see, it's a more like... like uh, it's, it's literally a frequency. It so shifts... The frequencies, exactly what you tell it to shift them. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So it is more like fun. every single frequency gets shifted the same amount. Yeah. Oh. So the the phaser effect happens when you set it to fifty percent, or basically anything but a hundred percent or zero percent. Right. Because what it's doing is it's taking your dry signal, that's the perfect harmonic series or whatever, and then like slightly fucking it up a little. So your low end is gonna phase more than your high end, yeah. oh. or like phase faster. Oh. Like a re space. Like a re Yeah. You're detuning you it enough. Detuned. So like, it sounds like everything octaves. is like phasing like on or, time. Not on time. Not on it's, time. It's it's more of like a the low end is phasing slower than the high end. It's oh, and okay. it's exponential, so the high end yeah. would be phasing oh. a lot faster. Or no, vice versa. Whatever. This actually <laughs> just made me think of a. Uh, I watched this like not too long ago. There was this uh, a track video where he was talking about when he samples like uses like disco samples and stuff like that he has like you know he layers the sample multiple times one is like the the lows and then you have like the mids and then you have the highs and on the highs he puts a flanger on like mm. on the very high so you get that like that width on top mm -hmm. and then go. like he's eqing every single part <clears throat> of the sample differently but they're all stacked on top of each other sorry like <laughs> I, I don't know that just made me think of that just like that yeah like, yeah that's that, a fun yeah. way to do it do you guys ever play with multiband phasing and flanging and doing you them differently like that? You talked about that a couple weeks I ago. Haven't. Yeah. I did try that A-Track thing. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I've tried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't know. So you kind of did it then? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I guess I did. Yeah, <laughs> you is fucking funny. did it. He actually is doing a multiband thing. I didn't mm -hmm. realize that until you just said that, but yeah, he mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Just in audio instead of using like a uh, dedicated like multiband compressor, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Or multiband splitter and whatever right, way. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so side note, it's funny to watch mini meters, the, uh, 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 is that a spectrograph? The one on the, the right? second to the right, um, when AT talks, his is all fucking oh, wide. is it? Wait, AT say something? Give it a talk. Uh, yo. <laughs> yeah, and then we talk, it's like this. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, you're right. Do, do I have just a wide voice? You just got a nice <laughs> fucking wide yeah. Is it yeah. the mic? Yeah, it's yeah. the mic. Yeah, it's the... Well, I've heard my doctor told me you my, also my voice could... is slightly detuned. <laughs> if time. you yeah. were to talk <laughs> directly into the mic all the time, you will sound much more clear. Okay. Yeah, right there. That's much right there. Better. Yeah, basically look, have so... your top basically it's have... gonna do the no, same. No, it's gonna thing. do the same thing. You're just gonna be louder. You'll like just oh, I understand. More right. It presence. is more clear. Instead Usually of you don't have a problem with being hurt. Uh, <laughs> it's a rare, <laughs> rare scenario. Yes, yeah, so, yes, it is. Um, <laughs> but those legendary, legendary, no. legendary. No, legendary. Um, for the people out there who haven't played with a lot of uh, multiband processing, and you want to like have just another fun way to be creative, Snap Heap is a really good one to kind of ah. just understand the concept of what's happening. Very good. With a lot, a lot of control. Yes. Uh, shout out to Killer Hearts, uh, of course, our of course. very tragically missed sponsor for this week. Um, uh, we miss you dearly, Killer Hearts. Oh, we do. Please sponsor us. Um, <laughs> You'll be in our hearts. You yeah. merely just need to say, we're sponsoring you so that we can feel good about it. You don't have to give us money. <laughs> just take this dream, for example. Right um, we got the goods. We do have the, the goods, setup. but Snap Heap is coffee. huge. So sick. Snappy. It is great, and ooh, almost went slightly to the north there. And uh, Snap Heap has built-in LFOs. I think it's four different LFOs you can use at like different times, or maybe two. God damn, something like oh, that. Oh, that's well, nice. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. What my button? call me a biscuit. So hey, of course, shoe fire. LFOs are just fun. You know, <laughs> add that to your whatever processing thing. Or what's 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 really cool is you can add it to um, the crossover. Of where it's separating right, right, what you're processing, right. yeah, it's huge, which is crazy, That's fucking gross. Yeah, it's it's messed up. Again, so messed up. Messed up. another very good reason for Killer Hearts, <laughs> <laughs> Killer Hearts, <laughs> to uh, Orson Welles. 
It's a great podcast. <laughs> kind of envelop and make their own the Simplant AI method. Yeah, you're Orson Welles right now. Uh, I feel like Phase Plant. I think Would so. you let me finish? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, if Faceplant could incorporate the AI bit that Sinplant has incorporated... Oh, game over. Uh, game over for everything. <laughs> it would be huge. <laughs> It'd be fucking massive. <laughs> it would be massive. All right? Yeah. Sorry. I, I feel like every every synth one day is just going to incorporate AI shit. Yes, oh, but like, I want... Now the, future, DAWs will, right? the DAWs will get it, and then they'll just... They'll just do oh. anything to whatever plugin you oh, have. That would be cool. Yeah. Like if stock, like on like operator or plugin like that, like that comes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that comes. That comes free with. There you go. Uh, the the whatever dot that you <laughs> have. Gonna love it. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna love this. But it would be sick if one of those like stock ones actually had something like that. Right. Right. I'm sure. Um, soon enough. Soon enough. Counting and days. that's fine. But I want Phase Plan to have one like today. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like. Kill arts. Okay, wait, that's a little close now, ET. <laughs> it's, I, it's, like, it's so hard. <laughs> it is hard. This is slightly difficult. But, that wouldn't uh, make sense, though, that the whole DA just becomes a fucking right. and then entirely we don't integrated. Do, we don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we take credit for it. What are you Whoa. talking about? You'd basically mm-hmm. just be like an orchestrator at that point. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I think it'd be great. No, it would be sick. Yeah. <laughs> Sick, dude. Uh, d- Dave, what you got? I use uh, multi bands on fucking everything. I Amen. love right. multi banding. Mm-hmm. I just I don't do throw a multi band container on that shit and put whatever I want wherever I want. It's great. Right, it's a great time. Yeah, I don't use it enough. I will say the one thing I use it more than anything is just adding reverb into the mid-range of my basses. Mm. Oh, uh, that's interesting. N- normally a very specific bass in a phrase. I don't want all the basses to have too much of one thing. Mm-hmm. But when I choose a bass that I want to have like a little bit of width or uh, volumetric character, if, if you will, mm. um, then throw in a multiband and throw in, excuse me, uh, reverb, a short reverb, on the mids, that's you know it's, very nice. It's not one hundred percent wet. It's it's usually in a multi band, and then in another group or container or whatever DAW you're you using. So then I can also affect its wet dry, mm-hmm. um, and affect it on a chain in in in, in of itself. Um, yeah. Putting it in parallel, right? Effects right. and effects so and effects and effects. In, it's and in effects. parallel on the multi band mids. Oh, okay. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, so that mid range is only getting half of the reverb at any given moment, or what have you. Right. But just having that, and then you can fuck with where that mid range is on the multi band, so you can have it from like two hundred to five hundred, oh. and then just sit there and start moving it up or down until it starts to sing, you know, and like really hits the width and the nodes of the frequency spectrum just right, <clears throat> and you get the the singing of the reverb. Um, mm-hmm. it's a good time. That's that, that's what I use it a hundred percent of the time for. Ninety percent of the time for I use it for like mixing purposes. I don't use right. multi multi band enough. I don't mm-hmm. think. Right, but would you say it's a good alternative to just regular compression in general? Like, if yeah, you're gonna use that just as a replacement for just like a regular. I, I I would say you can replace almost every compressor with multi band besides your last compressor. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Just to bring down the actual yeah, dynamic like, range. Yeah, like I it. feel like the very last compressor, if at all, if you have a compressor at the very end, like before your master limiter, like that one should just be a full spectrum, just because it's mm-hmm. just trying to sit there and ride every everything. But it's still kind of up to personal taste and how the mix is. Right. Right. You know. No, I get that. I feel like that'd just be your saturator at that point too. At the end there. Instead of a compressor, Correct. yes. Uh, well, I'm, That's I'm how a, we do it. I'm a big fan. Sick. <laughs> big fan of sad trading. Cuts big, those. Cuts those dynamics. <clears throat> big fan of satch. Satch. Yeah, I did a a master mm. yesterday, and I didn't have a single compressor on it. 
Yeah, and, and that was a yeah. thing. I yeah. don't. Hell that was a straight yeah. up band. That wasn't an EDM song. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. And that's fucking, and it sounded nice. Band music. It sounded nice. It got up to like six and a half. Like negative six. Oh, yeah. It was, it was it getting got pretty, pretty loud. loud, yeah. yeah. Right. I was actually a band. And it wasn't, loud. it didn't sound pushed. It didn't look pushed. Like, I was I was pleasantly surprised. We were, At least what um, I saw in your... I didn't have to do uh, a bunch. And the guy yeah. missed it pretty good. You can, you can say it. Oh, no, you can say it. No, um, you you can. What no, was you can say it. We pulled no, up this. Uh, go ahead, AC. You can say okay, it. Okay, you can say it. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> what are we talking about? I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> we we uh, pulled up this it. track it. earlier. Um, it's by Inure. It, it's called like Calabria, I think, and it's this like oh, Latin that one. Oh, fun yeah. song. Okay. And we noticed they mm. weren't side chaining at all nope. in it. And another thing we noticed is they were like limiter pumping the master. Their intro was way louder than drop. Yeah, well, As- especially it also came out in two thousand seven. That's so true it too. Was like, but they should yeah. they should have been <laughs> side chaining them. But they, I guess yeah, pop music didn't or something. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, but barely. the funny part when they were limiter pumping is there's like right before their like chorus, there's these uh, like brass like horns that come in. And they're really, really fucking loud. And then in the chorus, you can hear them just get like fucking pushed. <laughs> mm. And then on every breakdown, they just fucking skyrocket right. up again. Blow right. Through. Yeah. Right. right. They weren't clipped enough, nor, I mean, before clippers were really a thing, that would just be a, a lack of compression. Right. right. Because yeah. that, that signal needs to be minimalized in its dynamic range. Mm hmm. Right. Because. Yeah, the, the the limiter that it's running into is too busy, clearly, because when it has the moment to get past it, it gets past it. Yeah, right. who, who right. knows how yeah. much of like grouping or anything they did with their track? Maybe it was all sure. just on the same group. And I mean, just, like yeah, it was able to <laughs> sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. right. I would be fascinated to ask a lot of it, these it would producers be, it back would be then super to cool. see what they were doing. That would be fascinating. I would honestly, yeah, yeah I would like, love that. Like how they how would you side chain at that point, or, or right. if they did at all? Right, you know. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> compressors. I can't. Compressors. Yeah, <laughs> that's how they were doing it. I mean, com- sidechain right. is very old. It being used in the way that we <clears throat> use it is not very old. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Was but it, it is late two thousands. Wasn't the original sidechaining like intentionally limiter pumping? I Isn't that don't a thing? know. I, I, I have feel no like idea. I saw in one of the some documentary or something. Maybe not. I could be fucking totally speaking out of my ass. All but I remember I'm seeing something about people would like push into a limiter so hard that everything would tuck out when the kick hits. I mean, I don't really. So just, I don't really. Yeah. Know I, guess, I can definitely see that, honestly, though. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. That, that makes total sense. All right, dead, <laughs> dead mouse, maybe. Yeah. Dead uh, mouse. Yeah. I do know, via a noisy documentary, or something noisy video or something, them talking about. Uh, Oh shit! What's her name? Uh, <sighs> drum and bass legends, uh, Pendulum. Uh, uh, Pendulum. The main guy from Pendulum was the first one to release. Maybe not the first one, but the first one for for Noisia to hear and for that scene to kind of hear, where he side chained everything to the kick. Oh, and it just everyone immediately was. Terrified, yeah. They're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh what? no, <laughs> what? I didn't like it, drums could be that loud, like <laughs> fuck, and it just changed the game. And that was like 2006, 2007. Oh, that's so sick. And yeah, you can, like, why are you pumping so hard? You can kind of hear uh. it listening to like 2003 drum and bass. Like it's still good, but it's kind of like flat. Mm. Like the punch is there, but you can tell they were doing everything they could. To like try and get the transients back while still having it loud, and they just couldn't quite get it. And it just then, doesn't have that oomph. To right, it. and then mm-hmm. post two thousand seven, two thousand eight, it just changes like overnight. And you're like, oh, there's the modern drum and bass and uh, like electronic we're used to hearing now. Let's go. Because like, oh sorry. No, I was just gonna say because uh, old dubstep that's pre two thousand seven, it's so open. They didn't need sidechain at all. That's just all yeah, up to all- your. Arrangement. I mean, a lot of it, right. you know, like you know, dubby and everything. Like right. That. Just so like a lot of the drums can hit just, just fine on their own. In, so totally. Right. I mean, who? I don't really know who completely like started it, but I mean, Daft Punk was obviously side chaining. Not always. Not always. No. Yeah. If, if you listen to a lot on their old ones, it's not. It's not. It's just simply fucking. Because I'm not like. Com- Completely familiar with their and very it, first record, it, but it Discovery also, sounds like they're definitely side chaining on a lot of that stuff. And 
It also like, depends on your definition of side side chain. <clears throat> Do you consider it side chaining if somebody, while they're recording the actual mix take, somebody is sitting there and moving the fader for every kick drum? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at that point, like, that, it, it's it's that harder. It's harder to say with like a, like an actual like right. recording, like mixing studio and everything. Right, because like, that kind of that. stuff did happen, um, and very likely happened on that album. So. Mm-hmm. I, I know that uh, Datsik was doing that live back in like 2011. Yeah, he would like because side chain the stems to the kick. What? Like, yeah. I feel like That's it was like sir. a yeah. thing, but it, it wasn't like known. You know, like people were just sure. doing it, but they were like, what the fuck is well, the, going on still? Right. Like, it about sounds how much sick, gatekeeping so. existed right. before YouTube? Correct. Like Correct. before YouTube, somebody <laughs> would figure Jesus out a Christ. hack and be like, I never need no. to show anybody this shit. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, you, if yeah. you came up with that hack, yeah. I mean, if I came up with that hack, I'd be like, fuck no. Fuck yeah. all of you. Yeah. My shit hits hard, yeah. son. <laughs> you know, like a, like, like a like an actual difference between like the pump on your kick hitting as opposed to everybody else's. Oh, like, yeah. Obviously, right. I'm just going to... You would give it to a select mm-hmm. few. You'd give yeah. it to the boys. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're us now. Unless you're us now. We just give With it to you immediately. Mm-hmm. Right here on the pod. Immediately. Right here. Because we're goddamn G's. That's how we do. That's fucking right. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been watching this cool series... I want to give a shout out to this dude because he's fucking slaying it. Oh, God damn it. I just exited. <laughs> shout out. Fuck. I think his name is uh, Baring UK. Um, he has a. Uh, it's Baring. like six or seven like hour long videos. Some of them are like a half hour. And it's the UK sound documentary series. Ooh. And it's so fucking sick. He goes over drum and bass, UK garage, dubstep, and like how it all came to be. So it's like a little mini series. No, it's a long ass series. Oh, oh. Dude, well, you, I guess it is kind of a mini series because it's only seven. Seven episodes yeah. that are like an hour yeah. long. So you I guess gotta, you could say you mini gotta series. Send that yeah, to me. that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's so sick. So I've been I've been going through all of them. Yeah, that sounds like an easy watch. Just be do like one every once. Bearing UK. Bearing UK. Oh, and I just had it, had it up. Mm. Which bearing? B e a r. That. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's that looks like cool. It. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the UK Sound Documentary Series. And yeah, each video covers uh, like a specific genre or whatever. And it's just, it's so sick to see, I don't know, like a deep look into all that. It's it's similar to the uh, All My Homies Hate Dubstep documentary, mm-hmm. but he's he's focusing more on like all the other genres surrounding it. And there's a lot less bias in this one where he's not just shooting on modern dubstep the whole time. Sure, what? right? Like, <laughs> yeah. this one. You also missed the name of the documentary is All My Homies Hate Skrillex. <laughs> yeah. He, he did, they love dubstep. They didn't like that. That's, That's true. Yeah. That is very true. Yeah, the, the UK loved it, but dubstep. Um, <laughs> but dubstep. Yeah, and it's just it's crazy to see. But he even step. goes into, um, oh, I forget exactly, but. How like Jamaican culture has influenced a bunch of the UK sound and like right. Rasta culture. Yeah, I think I yeah. saw that. That was for like dubstep. The, that was like the fourth episode on there. I saw that. Right. Yeah, little, yeah, yeah. It's there. it's so fucking sick. And a lot of it, it, like it, it sucks to say, but a lot of the sound literally just comes from racism and people just being horrible, and then uh, like a group of people coming together and just being like. Okay, well, if we're not invited on that thing, let's just go do this thing over here. Is and right, then they just right. completely that right. start most of life at that point. Sounds right? like culture. Yeah. yeah. No, that that's that is. How do you think house though? music mm-hmm. was started? You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it all has an origin, and then it gets like so many different people want to join in, but then there's a lot of gatekeeping that happens in all these scenes. And mm-hmm. not, I'm not talking about specifically one scene. You know, I don't know, but you know, it definitely, yeah. Definitely. Everybody mm. sucks to an right. extent, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. all it's all well, there. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting better. But, yeah. We're getting we're there. Get, yeah. We're getting better. I think um, I think we're sharing things a lot more now. Like the things aren't as uh kind of swept under the rug or like hmm. I feel like hmm. things are shared a bit more, like like I don't know. It's, Maybe it'd be too much. Maybe you think so. I <laughs> Maybe was gonna say much. the borders are getting less it's slightly it's severe. almost blurred. Yeah. To it's the blurred, point where yeah. it's like, well, we don't I don't need to know what you do at home. <laughs> That's true. I just need to know what you prefer to be called. Like I don't, I don't need the details. I need to like, know. Are you a microwave or a human? What your favorite saturator is? Mm. Ableton stock. Not what Ableton your stock. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Massage tech. 
Wait, yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tantrum's also tight. Shout out Tantrum. And Wave Shaper, um, also goat. Yeah, Sick. it's a clipper. So good. Oh, it's such a good saturator. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm dreaming of M wave shaping things almost all day long. That's like, <laughs> like the the tactile feedback you get from making a soft curve clipper mm-hmm. on M wave shaper is something to be adored. Mm-hmm. Um, I still don't use M wave shaper that much. That's I, too bad. I don't, I don't have any of those. It's a little scary. So it, is. it is a little weird yeah. until you figure out like the three buttons you need to push, and yeah. then you're like, "Oh, that's like, all it does." Oh, I get it. I yeah. see. Yeah, it's and then you have like four all, options. All of the other yeah. buttons. Are I know so many <laughs> buttons. But <laughs> Melda loves buttons. Half of them. I so love many buttons. buttons. <laughs> Half... I love really bad UI. <laughs> that, yeah, right. That's Half really of the buttons idea. are due to the UI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. Right. Half of the buttons are you are is oh. you telling you to buy it so you don't have to see the rest of the buttons. Okay. There is one. Uh, that, that's kind of crazy that I did not expect that the um, melded plugins would have. I can't remember what it was. It multi-band was like the multi transient. transient shaper. Yeah, they literally have a D reverb mm, like mm-hmm, effect mm-hmm, on it, and yeah. it actually fucking worked. Mm-hmm. I was I so forgot surprised. about that. I was right? that's very, sick. very very surprised. For any kind of old acapella, dude. It's we perfect. were working right. on a track that like the acapella was cool, but there was just like way too much just noise in it sure. from the reverb and everything sure. when. I don't know how we found it. I was just like, I was thinking of like a, let's try to find a, like a reverb thing. And somehow it came up and it worked pretty fucking damn well to like cut the reverbs and made it yeah, nice that's and pretty tight fucking and everything. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's such I, a random button to be on a multi-band. Yeah, it chamber. doesn't make any well, sense. Well, that's what I thought at first no, too. not really though. But then you think yeah, about it no, more. It yeah. makes sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Yeah. the reverb is part of the transient. And yeah. if it needs to get rid of that. Oh it's, shit. Yeah. Oh, that duh. makes right? total okay. sense. That right. Makes it's right. just like so a, then, a longer form of like the KHS transient shaper. Dude, basically. I don't know. I it's just, cool that they just have a button for I thought it, it instead of having to figure out how to do mm-hmm. that manually. You know, yeah. I don't know how to do that manually. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, just a D reverb button. It's like an, it's nice. I mean, it's kind of wild. Guys, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to get spooky. Oh. But if you think about it, everything is ADSR. That's true. Okay. I mean, you wouldn't have life without sound. Right? Everything? <laughs> Everything is attack, delay, sustain, release. And I might caveat that. Everything is A-H-D-S-R. Oh, hold? Yes. Yeah, there's oh. always some hold in there. The hold is very important. I've actually, I've been thinking about that more with like, <laughs> um, I, I do a lot of, when I do like bass sound design, I do like the classic like wub. Ah. Kind of thing with your LFO where you add it to the volume and you know you make a little triangle. <laughs> and lately Indeed. I've been pushing it instead of it just being a triangle, it's like more flat on top. Hell yeah. So it's almost like a built in, like it's already clipping kind of thing, is how I've been thinking about it. Even though it's not like distorting. Right. I'm like but flattening the signal up there. The amplitude. The amplitude. Goes from zero, if you will. Mm hmm. The attack causes it to rise. Oh. It hits your hold. My hold. Your hold. Ah, holds it steady at that amplitude. It is not allowed to go near the higher or lower. Mm. And then once it reaches the end of your hold time, what does it do? It starts to decay. It starts to decay. Mm. Lovely. And then once it reaches the end of the MIDI note and the decay is told to release, it releases. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't sound uh, like the life of my horse. That is HS... D S S R C S S C S S S four hundred. Woo! No, holds are tight. I never use that in on a synth. Like I know that they have the hold. Like in Ableton, they have like the hold. Yeah, yeah, the hold. It dude holds been my shit lately. Especially, especially when you have a very dynamically responsive. So here, let me show you a little graph. Um, Caleb's been taking drawing classes. He just wants to. Test out his new skills that so he's hanging like out it. with. Have you seen his head? Don't mind him. That's time. <laughs> you know, time is on the x axis, right? And amplitude is on the y axis, okay? Is that right? Yes. Y axis is up. I always so forget. Y hi- sounds up. Yeah. yeah. So the higher the. Just, just think of Blender. What's red? X axis. I never remember those. Like oh, I. I, yeah. I know blue I is Z. I remember that. But isn't yeah. Z up and down? Z's up and down. Y's back and forth. Oh, okay. Um. So. 
time. Dave's got the visual for you guys. Amplitude is up, okay? Amplitude's up. This is your time. So as... I forget what I was explaining. (laughs) It's sick. (laughs) Let's go. Like I said, he just wanted to test out his new drawing skills. (laughs) Were we talking about the hold? Yeah, we were talking about the hold. Okay. ADSR hold. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. So a, a, uh, a dynamically... A amplitude... Amplitudic, amplitudally, amplitudally, <laughs> dynamic, <laughs> amplitudally. Dynamic. Happy Halloween, guys! Uh, we can watch the train um, of thought just die live. No, no, no. <laughs> when we come back, it's and coming watch back. This. So, <laughs> as the sound follows through time, it's getting louder. And pretend that you have a com- a saturator after this. That as something gets louder, it is going to clip. You know. So it gets loud to a certain a certain point until it starts to clip, and that's when you have the hold. If you set it right, you can set your hold right around where it starts to clip, mm-hmm. or right above, or right below. Which is where M Wave Shaper comes in handy. Right. Oh, I see. And then you you can cause it to kind of sit at this hold and kind of tap the top of the uh, saturator. The s- s- saturator. And if you're doing this with like a bass sound or something that's really going to slap it and kind of give you a lot of... It's going to give you a lot of that fucking timbre as it hits the threshold. You can kind of almost have an attack and then like another attack before you get to your decay and your release. Yeah, yeah. Where you can kind of get it to like... Interesting. And it can kind of have this other moment where if it's fast enough, you kind of almost get a little bit of a flam, like with a drum, where it's mm-hmm. ba-dup, ba-dup. So you can kind of get a... Mm-hmm. And you can kind of get a, a secondary movement with, with a hold and if you're timing it with this your is with saturator. Just one oscillator? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. it's they, just, have a, they have a function in that in Serum. Yep. Okay. Fuck yeah. That's just awesome. a, button, a button I never... Th- I didn't know how that worked. Thank you for actually explaining it. Because yeah, I didn't know it, how that worked. It, it yeah. just... The hold is how long it's going mean, to stay can, at peak mm-hmm. amplitude. Could, oh, okay. You could do that, like, much more complicatedly, I guess, with like, mm-hmm. another mm-hmm. oscillator, oh, sure. right? Sure. Right. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can make that really complicated by, like, drawing <laughs> a whole envelope yeah. and shit like yeah. that. The, the hold is also really nice for, like... Uh, nice for plucky sounds, like plucky basses, right. especially. Because uh, okay. then you can yeah, like hold sense. it past your side chain Correct. a little more. Oh. And you're like, oh, I want it to exist a little bit longer. Because sometimes you make like a donk bass and your and side then, chain just annihilates it. Yeah, it's it. just right. gone. You have it's to like, work around That's the why side a, chain. Mm-hmm. A lot of the time mm-hmm. I'm just trying to avoid putting bass sounds on the kick. Yeah, you can also do that. Yeah, but I, Or you can sometimes swagger you don't it want so to it's do like that, late though. after but the kick a little bit. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't always want to have to work around the kick. And then sometimes you have to really like... Uh, fine tune the side <clears throat> chain of that particular sound. Like the if you want it on the one, you have to like make sure that it's not side chaining. Yeah, too things hard. can get complicated mm-hmm. pretty fast really doing that. Yeah. If you have like you know ten different tracks that you're like, I want right. them to be side chained completely differently. And I also yeah. do, tend to do like I'll do a lot of like busy kind of basses too, where it's like a lot of like a lot of notes and stuff, mm-hmm. and that can get really complicated where you like are trying to avoid kicks, mm-hmm. but you're like also want it to be like. Have a lot of notes and like have a lot of like groove to it. I don't know. It can be mm. really well, that's a fun little trick. We're not to, yeah. we're not to like actually do that on Ableton. Yeah, I can show you after the pod because uh, we'll play with it. Sounds useful for sure. I mean, right. Kickstart having the like the one eighths for the side chain has right. helped Huge. a lot, yeah. a lot with that Huge. too. To mm-hmm. just like make sure it's not like side chaining yeah. so much. Well, then the one fourth is really helpful too. Like mm-hmm. the yeah, if, if you, you really want it, if you want a really small side chain. Oh, you know. for I, this I recent song I was playing with, I did a fun thing that I've never done before, where I automated the length of the sidechain. Oh. Well, technically on Kickstart, I just turned on and off two different lengths. Sure. But uh, for the buildup, I wanted like all the a effects more and pump. risers to pump more. Yeah. yeah. So I did okay. like a fourth, so it had like a yeah, nice. You know, and then when the drop hit, got like a tighter sidechain. Yep. 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 I, was, I was so happy. I was um, like, that's oh, a, that's, that's a good sick, idea. Right? Yeah, that, that's an easy idea to think of, but you would never honestly think about it, too. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's that one random thing that you're just like, maybe I should just do this. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could, I'm going to do that on every cool. song now. You could so probably blend them uh, with a group and then the channel fader or whatever that is in Ableton where you oh. can like blend between the two. What is that fucking thing called? I don't think that is a thing in Ableton. No, I think that's the thing there that is. we there's, use for Kickstarter. There's like, like chain the selector. How much the chain select, how yeah. Side oh, chain select. Oh, that is a thing. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. yeah. Are you talking about the little waveform that's on it? That, Where you like, can you drag, 
you drag it from left to right. All right. So the chain selector is in like when you group stuff. Oh, that's like, what you're talking. You're not talking about in Kickstart. Not in never, Kickstart. Never yeah. Never mind. Chain selector um. sick. Resonant language is a big fan of uh, <laughs> using these for his sound design. Which Let we need to do more because these quick. are sick. Yeah, Shaper box. That we need Thank to do. you. I I I, w- I would be sh- search. I use Shaper Box shaper. constantly. Yeah, cable always. guys have the best. Nice. The best yeah. shit. I shape my sounds with it all the time. It's such a good thing to throw on a kick. So and if, just yeah, multi band have... shape your kicks. I have not used Shaper oh. Box yet. Just Kickstart. I know. Yeah, I might. I might get, just buy this, dude. I really should buy Shaper Box too. It looks so good. Because this is how right. you guys side chain. How do you right? get yeah. to? So above the yellows, see where it says chain uh, on the uh, right a little bit more, towards the chain, little chain. left, right down. next to hide. Go down left, left, oh. left and uh, up. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, yes, yes. So it's something with those. Oh wow! Oh, what the fuck? I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I've so, never seen this. This is wild. So what you do is you can blend them somehow. Blend them. So this is there for is. side chaining. Go. Uh, this is for anything. So oh, this is just for anything. So but he's say, gonna use it for side chain. Say I chain have signals. two yeah. different ducking things on here. It's cool shape right there, dude. <laughs> the deep V. Um, and then this one I have just that, you know. <clears throat> And I want oh. I want want to be able to change between these now because these are faded. I can now chain select between them smoothly, yeah. so it'll go from one to the other. Right, yeah, exactly. And, okay. and, and if okay. I'm at fifty, it's half this one, half so, this one. Yeah. It's also and a I, classic dry wet. Uh, right. Sure, yeah. Oh yeah, it's okay. grouping like that technique. Does. Another parallel yeah. kind of right. technique. Yeah. Right. It's literally making it a dry wet. Yeah. It, oh, that's cool. Doing a dry wet Be- between the two. It's Real quick. Not, it's not my favorite kind of dry wet. But yeah, it, I don't it like works. It. Will you it's write an interesting concept? Will you right click on that blue guy and see? Can you add that to a macro? You yes. can. Okay. So that's that's how I would do it. Yeah. And mm. then you just have your little macro. Oh, oh. duh. That makes it so much. That makes it. Easier. And then you get rid of it. <laughs> you don't have to even think about it. You just know. Right. Or or what you do. Um, you close these, you exit Ableton, <laughs> and you open Bitwig. God damn it. Just God. <laughs> ah! Um, folks, this brings us to the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Woo! The only, Thank you. the only thing I need is at least two more words from Dave. Just two. At least. It can be more. Oh. No, it has to be just two. There's one. <laughs> uh, have There's another lovely nerf. Okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Folks. Woo, have a lovely new year. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Um, oh, wait, also real quick. Yes. I just dropped uh, two songs oh, sh- yesterday. Oh, sh- They're Fortnite remixes. Woo, They're yeah. really, really good. Fortnite remixes. <laughs> you don't want to miss them. Uh, this um, is huge. They're uh, Post Malone remixes, right? One is a Post Malone remix, oh. and the other is Ellie Golding and Juice World. Oh, that's right. It's the Juicy Juice. Juicy Juice. Basically the same And thing. those are on As and Adele's... SoundCloud, SoundCloud and YouTube. Yeah. And YouTube. And turns out, a little quick tip, if you want to instantly get numbers on a track, throw in the name of a really famous person. That's true. And exactly. then people searching will just inevitably click on it. Right. They're like, what's his remix? Yeah. It already has That's like true. a dumb amount of I know, streams it's for stupid. a day. Yeah. <laughs> um, check it out. It's really good. Yeah, go check out As and SoundCloud. That is A-Z-E. N. No. A-Z-N. <laughs> A-D-E-L. Yeah. Um... Folks, thanks for tuning in. We love you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Y'all Bye, everybody. For no more Halloween. <laughs> Have a beautiful Rosie time. On through the farm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love you guys. Back to your farm, love. boy. Hit the sub button. Hit the follow. We love you guys. Thank you. <laughs>